Thank you very much, Jerome. Mr. Vice President, Second Lady, uh, Madam Pence, Jerome, uh, thank you. I really feel extraordinarily privileged and honored to be with you here today to make a few comments about a most extraordinary undertaking that you see here today culminating in something that is an actionable intervention that will get us out of the extraordinary experience that we've had over the last year. As I was sitting here listening to the remarks of Vice President Pence and Jerome, I was looking over at Bob Redfield and recalling that it was about a year plus a few weeks that Bob called me up one evening at home and told me, I think we have a problem. I'm getting information from my sources in China that there is something very unusual going on there, and I'm very concerned about it. Literally, a week and a half later, the effort that led to where we are today to see the Vice President of the United States and the Surgeon General get vaccinated with a safe and effective vaccine. Literally, a few days after that, the work began to develop the vaccine. And what we saw was the marriage between years of fundamental basic and clinical research that led to the extraordinary technology that have allowed us, and when I say us, I mean the medical community, so many people from so many different agencies in academia, in government and in industry to do something that is truly unprecedented. So we started literally days after that phone call that I had with Bob, and over a period of months, as opposed to years, we saw the development in record time of a vaccine that is shown to be safe and effective. We want virtually everyone eligible to get this vaccine ultimately. Two questions get asked when people have hesitancy or reluctance to get vaccinated. Did you go too quickly is the first. The answer to that is the speed was a reflection of extraordinary scientific advances and did not compromise safety, nor did it compromise scientific integrity. The next question is, okay, but what about the fact, is it really safe and is it really effective? Or is this something the government is trying to put over on us? Is this something the companies want to take advantage of? Well, let's take a look at what's happened over the past few months. We've had clinical trials, and thanks to the volunteers in that trial, in tens of thousands who have put themselves on the line to prove to the country and the world that these are safe and effective products. The decision as to whether or not it's safe and effective was not in the hands of the company, nor was it in the hands of the administration. It was in the hands of independent body of individuals, scientists, vaccinologists, ethicists, statisticians, to examine the data independently and say it is ready to look at for approval, at which point the company submits it to the FDA and together with the advisory committee of the FDA make the decision it is now ready to go. So the process was independent and totally transparent, which brings us to where we are today. This important symbolic vaccination of the Vice President of the United States and the Surgeon General of the United States, which is something we want to be symbolic to tell the rest of the country the time is now to step to the plate and when your time comes to get vaccinated. Because when we're speaking to you here today, I often say it is really bittersweet. The bitterness is the fact of what the Vice President mentioned. We still are in the middle of a very difficult situation with record numbers of cases, hospitalizations, and deaths. But the sweetness is the light at the end of the tunnel which I can tell you, as we get into January, February, March, and April, that light is going to get brighter and brighter, and the bitterness is going to be replaced by the sweetness. And we all hope, and I think this is doable, that by the time we get to several months into this year, we will have enough people protected that we can start thinking seriously about the return to normality. And that's up to all of us to step forward and get vaccinated. Thank you.